I'm Patty, and today we are going to paint these kind of nondescript metal tags into something that has a little bit more style. All right, the very first thing you want to do when you are going to prep metal is you want to do a little bit of sanding and a little bit of taking off any waxes, finishes, any of that stuff. So we're going to use rubbing alcohol and we're going to start there. So we'll use a paper towel. And we're just going to strip off any and all everything that we can. Ooh, look at that is just eating that paint right off of that. Um, rubbing alcohol is a paint remover, so that is good news. So we're going to go ahead and get off whatever we can get off of the paint, off, off of the metal, and then we won't have it removing itself when we're painting. So super surprise, right? You think you're just gonna do one thing and then you end up with it all coming off. We're not gonna worry about it moving on to the white. We just wanna get off anything that's easy to get or anything that's easy to remove. We want that gone. Because if it's easy to remove, it'll be easy to come off later. Okay, let's start with a new area. Repeat on the second one. All right, now that we've got the paint softened and kind of removed that will come off with the rubbing alcohol, now we're gonna take some sanding paper. I keep a bucket of just little sanding paper ends um, that I always just have a whole pile of. And we're just going to sand to roughen up the surface get through anything that doesn't seem like it wants to have any sticking power. Sand the edges, sand the top, sand the base. With metal, it's always important that you take extra, extra precautions. Vinegar is another really good um, cleaner. Any of the oils that are on here, we need those to go away need a rough surface for this to attract things. I'm not worried about the back. Um, the reason we're doing these pulls is we have a conference room that we have in our building, and that conference room has two giant pulling handles. The problem is, is on both sides of the door, they're the pulling handles, and you have to push on one side and not pull, but they look like you have to pull them both ways. So we're pushing, putting a push one on the side that you need to push on. However, black and white was not going with our scheme. Okay, now we'll take a paper towel and I'm going to wipe all the excess off in the trash. Okay, so now we're gonna take this XO Rust Galvanized Aluminum Primer and we are going to stir it up. Um, neat little pro tip is you can take your um, paint paddles from your paint stores and shorten them because we're stirring such small amounts of stuff, you don't need like this long of a paint stirrer. So that's just kind of a neat, um, makes me happy when I use the shorter ones. Okay, so we'll just stir from the bottom and you can feel the gunk down there. If I use a good brush with a nice Taclon head on it and this doesn't like to come out of this medium, I could be out a 10 or 12 or $20 brush. So what I'm going to do instead is take a very affordable, worn out foam brush and I will pour some of this out Clean that up. And then I can throw this away. Okay, so now we're just gonna daub. <clears throat> Get out my gloves. Fold top baggies, make the best, cheapest gloves ever.
And now I'll lay it down and then just go over the areas that need to be patched. This is gonna dry for, I don't know how long, but until it's dry. Um, I won't force this dry, I'm just gonna let it do its drying time. Get the other one done and we'll come back to you when it's dry. All right guys, so we took our little door emblems outside and we sprayed them with the Rust-Oleum Professional High Performance Enamel. Um, this back of the ingredients label says that it likes enamel paint, so we went ahead and put those two things together. And now we're going to do a little dry brushing on top. We're gonna to do dry brushing with a paper towel. Very technical. I have two products that I would lean to if I was doing this um, at home. It's kind of nice to have a variety of things. These metallic lusters by DecoArt are amazing. Um, and then this rub and buff is also really amazing. So I'm kind of conflicted about which way I wanna go, but today I'm gonna to do the rub and buff um, because it's worked really well for me in the past. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Spanish copper. I already had spit some out just to check its color. And then I'm gonna do some antique gold. I'm gonna be doing some mixing. And then I'm going to use just a little bit of gold leaf as well, maybe. Okay, go. Okay, so sometimes these guys get a little kind of weepy. They start separating. Okay, so we'll do that there. And then we'll come over here and we are going to do the shoe shine hold on your paper towel. So the shoe shine hold, um, I am an army brat and also was in the Air Force. And so you put two fingers, in this case I'm gonna do one finger because it's a small shoe. And you put that in there and you kind of round your finger, round the material, um, your t-shirt or whatever you're shining with around your finger. Okay, and you mold it on there and then you're just gonna take some of that medium and you're gonna mix a color that you think will work. And we really do want it pretty flat, so that's what it looks like on the paper towel. And then we're gonna go over here and we are going to wipe that out. Look how cool that looks! How amazing. Didn't mean to get all excited there, but love it. Okay, and then that is going to make it all elegant and all beautiful. And we'll let that dry. And that is how easy it is to paint your metal projects.